Hello everyone, this is Neronium. Welcome back to Paper Mario. Last time, we ended up beating up a blooper and a bully. And in this episode, we are gonna do a couple more things here and there throughout the Toad Town area. And then, I believe the next episode, we will be going and dealing with, um, the next chapter, which, if you remember, we're still missing one magical seed, and that magical seed is in Mount Rugged. It's easy to get to. You can get it with Paracarry early on. In fact, the first time you go there. So just keep that in mind. Me, I'm just looking for something because I'm like, where the heck is the thing I'm looking for? And I can't seem to find it, so I'm like, okay, fine. We'll do the next best thing. Which... It is actually in not this room, but the room after this. There is a super block that I am missing. If I ride, if I get on these and go to the next one, I don't think, I think that they're supposed to be moving, but they're not. But we also have a super block right here. Oh, darn buzzy beetle. Right, so how will we handle this most precarious of predicaments? Simple. Quake hammer. Big smash. Okay, Mario can't move. Let's change members to what? Electro dash and zap zap it is zap zap Goomba. So we came in here to get this super block. There is another super block in the room behind us. Uh, I don't get that until I think chapter seven. So which party member? We gotta we gotta upgrade the lad, the boy, the Chad, Goombario, and Goombario now knows multi bunk. Multibonk is a very good ability that basically allows Goombario to do a power bounce. And it's great. So here's me, it's like, oh. Okay, well that doesn't work, but I don't seem to think to... Do I? Oh, I do. But I know I don't get the super block yet. Do I? Because what you have to do is you have to ride this all the way... Yeah, no, I don't get it. Because I don't think to ride that all the way up. Because if I ride that all the way up, I'll be able to get another super block. Which I don't think about because I'm dumb. So, in the meantime, we get a star piece. Oh, Paragoomba. Zap, zap, it is zap, zap. Right. Paragoomba. you on the ground. Uh, you know what? We are gonna bring out Bombette, and we're gonna do a power bomb. All ground enemies, all ground enemies. Okay, never mind, we're not gonna use Bombette. Uh, we're gonna use Watt. Watt's also good. Zap, zap, it is zap, zap, Paragoomba. Zap. Zap. Okay, and bouncy, bouncy. Electro shock. Goodbye. 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 Not yet, but now, Stompy Stompy. So, there we go. Here's me looking up, it's like, okay, apparently there's something in this room, but I don't know where it is. I don't think I get 
the super block in this one. I could be wrong, though. I do know what one thing we're going to do is we are going to go talk to our good pal Koopa Koot and deal with a bunch of the side quest stuff. I think that's what I was bringing up right now was just stuff for Koopa Koot. So I noticed this pipe right here. And I'm like, do I, do I go up? Can I fly over to there? Go, Power Carrot, go! So close. Is there a hidden block I can go on there? Nope. I'm I'm not thinking things through. So there is that. But for right now, oh Goombas. Stupid Goombas. Zap zap it is zap zap Goomba. Sucks is I don't even get experience from this because I'm too powerful. There's actually a badge that I use. It's a good way to get money for Chet Rippo. Um, and it's basically where if you are more powerful than the enemies and they don't give you star points, what will happen is you will get money as though you completed the battle. Combine that with some of the other, like, coin payout ones, you can get a lot of money really quickly. And that's how you would mostly get Chad Rippo. Or is it Cheat Rippo? Yeah, I'm, I'm already forgetting names. I'm terrible with names. Like, in real life, I am really bad with names. Unless I work with you on a constant basis, I am bad with names. So. Got that. I'm out of here. Let's go to Koopa Koop. I'm sure he's got some lovely errands for us to run. We also need to go to Dry Dry Outpost and get ourselves some things too, such as the curse re up. Because remember, last in Mount Lava Lava, it was gone. All right. Oh, how very kind of you. What do you want this time? I have misplaced my glasses, which is vexing. I suppose I must have dropped them somewhere. I haven't gone beyond the borders of Cooper Village, so logic says they're still in the village. All right, so we gotta go and find Cooper Coot's glasses. He's in a tree somewhere or in the bushes. Ah, Colorado. I see he has made it home. Koopa Leaf. We're gonna need that, actually. That's not wise. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, Koopa Koop. Gotta have some glasses around here. It's a Koopa leaf. Come on. Get the tree. Yeah, I. Nothing. Nothing. Aha! Koopa Koot's glasses! Now, I believe the next one he wants is a Koopa Tree, which is going to require some cake mix. Here are your glasses, Koopa Koot. got a coin. What do you want, Koopa Koot? You need a tart. Pick me up. A fresh lime. Alright, so we need a lime. We can get that at Dry Dry Desert easily. While I'm 
here. I'm gonna go and check and see if I actually have a lime inside of the shop. I don't think I do. Would be very convenient if I did. I would like to claim. Got the egg, the whack a bum, cake, cake, strangely. Poke. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Nope. All right. So, I needed to go to Dry Dry Outpost anyway to re-up the curse. And then I also need to go and get the seed from the Bulbulb inside of Mount Rugged. So, it, it works out that I need to go that direction anyway. I'm just glad I don't have to get the one seed in the Forever Forest. Because that takes... I got lucky when I found it. Because that's a pain to get to that area because Forever Forest is confusing. Uh, this is Gumbario's house. But go back down. I always do that. Soon we will be using these pipes a lot to get uh, Chuck Quizmo. Because you can manipulate how he spawns once you get to Chapter 7. Alright, Chuck Quizmo is not here. Here's me checking, I'm like, wait, do I go to the other way and check for Chuck Quizmo? So, let's go to the desert. There is actually one more badge in this desert that we can get. You have to ride one of the tornadoes in order to be able to get it. Okay, so we have a lemon. Also need a lime, and I want this. All right, let's get the lime. I put the lime with the coconut and drink it all up. But anyway, let's go to Mount Rugged real quick. Put on the fast spin badge. And if you come down here, as you can see, I have the badge on also that kills enemies if they are weak enough. So the bulb bulb is right over there. This is the first area where you'll meet clefts. So there's also a Monty Mole that'll pop out of that hole right there in the wall, like so. So come on over to this side and talk to the bulb. So, magical seed. So, the magical seed, that is the last one we needed. So, let's go right over here. Let's go and talk to Koopa Koot. So, I've already re-upped the curse. So, I'm forgetting which one it is. I'm like, it, it's this one, right? Yes, it is. All right, Koopa Koot. I got your line. Have a line. And we get three star pieces. So, what else are we going to do? This is the one that requires the snack called a kooky cookie. To get a kooky cookie, you need cake mix and a Koopa Leaf. So that's why I got that Koopa Leaf earlier, actually. So you need the cake mix and the Koopa Leaf. There are other ways you can make a kooky cookie, but that is the easiest way to really do it. So right now what I'm doing is I am looking up, okay, what else do I need for a kooky cookie? And I already told you, it is the cake mix. You can get that in Shy Guy's toy box at Blue Station, where we got the cake mix last time. So in reality, I should have saved one of the cake mixes, but I didn't. So that that's my bad. This is also the last favor we have to do for Koopa Coot at the moment. After that, the next one will be in the next, uh, in the, after the next chapter. So, let's go to Shy Guy's toy box. 
And I, yeah, I already grabbed it at this point. So, I like cook. I'll use a uh, Koopa leaf. And some cake mix. I think you can use syrup too uh, in lieu of the, in lieu of certain things. And we got a cookie cookie. It makes you transparent. Which means enemies won't attack you. And it restores 15 FP. It's a pretty good snack, actually. You know, that's one thing I don't really use a lot in this game. Is tasties. Different concoctions that you can make. Which is a shame, because... It's actually a good idea to do that. Instead of what I do. So, I have a cookie cookie. And we got one coin. So, no favors. Alright, which means we got really two things left to do. Uh, one, we can take on the master yet again. And two... We can, if we wanted to, go and check on the Star Mountain to see if we can get some new badges from Merlo. But I think we're going to hold off until we get a few more star pieces because there's one star piece in particular that I am trying to get. Like one badge I'm trying to get from him. So... Parkery. We also have the letter to deliver from the Yoshi kid to the one uh, island. So, first things first, we got letters to deliver. Could have sworn I had already delivered this letter. I think this is the Igor letter. Yes. So I already delivered that letter, but while I'm here, let's go downstairs. Fun fact, there is, under those two stacks of boxes, a star piece. That is the last star piece I will be getting in the game, because I do not realize that the star piece is there. It took me hours to realize that it was there, and it was terrible. Go. Uh, we'll sell some things. So I'm not gonna use the fright jar. I'm not gonna use the tasty tonic. I'm not gonna use the stone cap. Cause the stone cap is pretty useless. Alright, you know what? We'll actually keep it. But Igor the Boo Shop, his name is Parkeri, and he delivers letters, so hang on for a moment. Have a letter. Have a letter. And we get a star piece. Remember, we found that letter on Mount Lava Lava. I keep calling it Mount Lava Lava. It's Lava Lava Island. Ah. All right. Now, for this next chapter, I recommend picking up some super shrooms because unlike every other chapter where there was a spot where you could rest at an inn, this next chapter has no inn. It's pretty rough. It, for many, they consider it one of the harder chapters because there's not a lot of um, healing to be found in this chapter, in chapter six. So keep that in mind. So here's me going like, okay, what other one do I have? Okay, I got the Toad Kid in Toad Town for the next one. So let's get that, get more FP. And we've also got to go and beat up the master. I just want to beat up the master in this episode. 
Nope. Go backwards. Nope. Speedy spin. You are messing with me. I did not want to fall down there. All right. Go into the pipe. I, I can't move. I'm I'm paralyzed with fear of fighting the master at his fourth and second strongest form. Uh, speaking of the master, we will be fighting the master actually... I think this is actually when I go to fight the master. So, for the master, there is the ultimate one which is stronger than the final boss of the game. I do not fight him before I fight the final boss. I'm gonna fight the master at his full power right after the final boss during a um, like bonus part. Not because I forgot or anything. Okay, it's entirely because I forgot, but also because for the master in his strongest form, again, he's more powerful than the final boss, and it'd be kind of sad to beat something more powerful than the final boss before the final boss. Hello, master. I, I, I came to try. Will I fail now? All right, so we're gonna use chill out on the master. I could use D down pound on him, and that would also work, but hey, I have this cool star power. I'm gonna use it. Now, Goombario? Tattle. This is the master. He owns the dojo, and he's the strongest member. So he's got 75 HP, and his attack power is eight. The final one for the master has an attack of 10 and has a HP of 99. So keep that in mind when you're gonna go and take on the master after chapter six, he will be at 99. All right, so we're gonna charge and then we're gonna do multi-bonk and you will see why I love Goombario with multi-bonk. Hammer! Now Goombario, multi-bonk! Bye, 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 bye. So there you go, it incrementally goes down, but you can do a lot of damage with multi-bonk. It's very good, I love multi-bonk. Right. No, don't tattle. Charge, my friend. So naturally now, Goombario with his bonk will do six damage. With multi-bonk, he can do up to, I believe, 14. Okay, let's go with another chill out. Oh, there's a mockingbird outside. Probably heard that noise. It just ran into my window. Bye, bye, bye. Right, so that's 12. Ah, I love dodging by doing absolutely nothing. It's like I'm Luigi. Boop. And charge. This should take out the master in these turns. So, uh, hammer. So Mario should be able to take him out next turn. So boingy, boingy. And another hammer. Boop. Hmm. Gumbario. This is your destiny. Take out the master. So there we go. That takes care of the master. Da -da 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 -da. 
And by beating the master, you've earned yourself the fourth degree card. So with that, we're almost done with this side quest. So anyway, everyone, I'm gonna end it off right here. This has been Neuronium. We're pretty much set up to now start tackling chapter six. And then after that, we will be doing chapter six for the next couple of parts. So this has been Neuronium. And it's time for the sleepy sleeps. So see you all next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out another type of Mario RPG, check out the top link for a playthrough of Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions. And if you want to see a different type of Mario game altogether, check out the bottom link for a playthrough of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon.